Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top five tips for being more productive with Microsoft OneNote. Microsoft OneNote is an amazing productivity tool that has so many different use cases and I've been using it for years in both my personal and my work life. And I wanted to give you some of my top tips today to be more productive with this tool. The tips I'm gonna give you today are gonna to work on both PC and Mac. So whether you're using a MacBook or a Windows based device, this is gonna work for you. Of course, if you have a device like a Surface Pro or a Windows Ink enabled computer, I've got a really great video showing you five ways of using a Surface Pen on OneNote. I'll link that down in the description for you if you wanna check that out as well. With that being said, let's get into this. The first tip I wanna give you is how you can import meeting details from Microsoft Outlook into OneNote. And this is really important if you have meetings, whether they're in person or online, because you wanna understand who was in the meeting, what the meeting notes were, and critically important, what the next steps are. All you have to do to enable this is be signed into your Microsoft Outlook and of course signed into OneNote. You can see here we are in a blank OneNote document and in the top ribbon we're on the Home tab. Then we're going to go all the way to the right hand side and third from the right is the option of meeting details. We're simply going to drop down this option but before we do that let's actually read what this does. And it says insert meeting details. It says add meeting details from your Outlook calendar. Gives you things like your subjects, your attendees, your date and location. We're simply going to select on this. It's going to show you all of today's meetings or you could choose a meeting for a different day. I've got a test meeting set up for now and I'm simply going to drop in this OneNote meeting. And within a few seconds, you'll see a few things happened. The name of the meeting actually appeared as the subject for the OneNote page. Then you can see down the bottom here, it's dropped in things like the meeting details, the link to the Outlook item, if there was attachments and things they'd show here as well. Um, the invited message, so if there was a message in there, we could actually press this to open it up um, or you select on the expand option. I didn't put anything in the meeting detail, but this would give you the body of, hey, this meeting is about X, Y, and Z. And then underneath that, you have your participants. I've only put myself here as a participant, but if you had five, 10, 15 people, this would show you every single person that was in the meeting. This actually brings me into the next section or my second tip, which is using quick tags. So you can see in Outlook in the Home tab, if you drop down, you have all these different tags here. So you can quickly mark things on your OneNote page and you can say it's a, an important, it's a to-do, it's a question, things like that. And next to these tags, you actually have some controls as well. Control one, control two, control three, all that sort of stuff. So what I love to do is actually select on who was in that meeting and I just press control one that's gonna put a little tick box next to that person's name. Then I press control one, one more time, and it's gonna tick that box for me. So if we had a few different people here, I'm actually just gonna add some in to show you how this works. I'll add them in manually. We could say this was Bob, we could say this was Irene, and this was Charlie that was in the meeting. We can actually go through and select on each person's name. And with that little tick box, we can select on yes, they were here, or we can use the keyboard shortcut control one and we can put that tick in there as well. So this is a great way of actually just marking who was in attendance and who wasn't in that meeting because then you can always refer back to it and say, Bob, Aldo and Irene were in the meeting, but Charlie didn't make it there. And of course, if you have other tags that you wanted to look for, or if you wanted to put them into your OneNote, you can simply select on the drop down option, use the hotkey, or you can go through and select which tag is important to you. Down the bottom here, you can also customize the tags, but we're not gonna do that today. Tagging is amazing, and my most commonly used tag is, of course, is control one that gives me the tick box. But if you wanted to find things like your actions or your importance or whether it's phone numbers, you can also see at the top here where it says tags, there's the option of find tags, and this is gonna search your entire OneNote and look for all the tags you've actually used. So I'll select on this, and you'll see here this is gonna show me all the tags that I've used before, and I can quickly jump to those pages. And it's gonna show me where those tags were. So it's a really great way of searching. I'm gonna jump back to that first tag here. It's a great way of quickly searching and finding things in your OneNote page. Sorry, not your OneNote page, finding things throughout your entire OneNote. So we've had the meeting, we've taken some notes, now we need to get these meeting notes and actions out to everybody that was there. So what you wanna do is go on the Home tab. On the right-hand side, there is an option, fourth from the right called Email Page. We're simply gonna select on this. This is gonna take a snip of that OneNote page, and then it's gonna actually put it into a Outlook email, 
and you can start sending this to the people that it was important to. So you could say we need to send it to Bob, Irene, Charlie. Um, it tells you down the bottom it was created with OneNote. It gives you all the details. You can just drop in whoever it needs to be sent to, and then you can hit it on the send button. It's a really quick way of taking your meeting notes, finding out who is there, and then sending it off to whoever it's important to by hitting the send button and off you go. Doing this has really sped up my workflow because instead of having to take the meetings uh, on a physical notepad and then take the notes and then put it into a Word document or an Outlook document, doing it all in one note just makes it really easy because with a few clicks we can get the details of that meeting, we can see who is there, we can take the notes, then we can send those notes and actions off to the relevant people. This is great for when you've just had a meeting and it's fresh in your mind, but what about when you wanna find something from a week ago, a month ago, five years ago, that becomes a lot harder. But with OneNote, you have universal search across all of your OneNotes, and it goes back as far as that page exists. So in the right hand corner of OneNote or the keyboard shortcut of Control E, you can see here it says search. If we drop this down, we can start searching all of our OneNote books for any note we've ever taken. So it could be five, 10, 15 years ago, all your notes and everything, all you need is something to search for. I'm learning Korean right now, and I know it's important to practice Korean every day. So I'm gonna type in, it's important. And this is gonna show me all the times that I've written the word, it's important. You can see here we have it in my revision of resolution. You can see here it's where I've written it out once. And this is actually the page that I'm looking for. I'm gonna jump straight to it. And a few cool things have happened here. We've actually jumped to a different OneNote notebook and it has highlighted not only it's important in text, but you can see here down the bottom where I've handwritten it in. It also understands handwriting. And this note was taken on the 9th of February, so about a month ago. Whether this note was taken a month ago, a year ago, five years ago, it would have found it. And the beauty is it takes me straight to that page and it can search for whether it is a text document that was written in there, whether it was handwritten by, you can see here with Windows Ink, or if you've dropped in a photo, it uses OCR or character recognition to look for the words that you've typed into the search. So searching in OneNote is just phenomenal because it saves you ever having to look for documents, stop looking for things and start searching instead. Now let's quickly jump back to that page that we we're on. During my workday, I spend most of my time either in OneNote or in Outlook. And there is some great functionality between the two of them. I'm gonna jump over to Outlook now, gonna go into my emails, and one of the most important things for me is actually getting emails from my Outlook into OneNote because this allows me to keep track of things that are important, but also lets me consolidate things that are relevant to each other in OneNote. So say for example, I'm working with Fourth Wall and we're gonna do some print designs. This right now is in my inbox, it's gonna get lost, it's gonna get dropped to you know, a week, a month, a year later, it's gonna get put into a different folder and then I'm not gonna be able to find it again or it's gonna take me a while. If I right click on this email here, I can scroll down and go send to OneNote. And this is gonna pop up and it's gonna say, hey, here's a few recent places that you were in with OneNote or here's all your different OneNote notebooks. Where would you like to save it? Well, for this example, I'm gonna go YouTube. I'm gonna drop it into scripts and I'm gonna put it here in our OneNote meeting and I'm just gonna go okay. So this is now, amazingly it is gone and it is that meeting detail that we were editing and editing before. It has now grabbed the detail or the body of a separate email and I've just pasted it straight into my OneNote page. It's cool here because now it's got the history or the email chain of what we were looking at and I can see who sent it. It still keeps the product links in there but it keeps it all in OneNote for me and it's also searchable. This is great if you're working on projects because instead of having to have different folders in your Outlook, you can get all the relevant emails and put them into a OneNote instead. The last thing I wanna show you in this video is how you can insert a document into a OneNote page. I'm just gonna quickly create a new page here and go into the Insert tab. So here you can see we have the option of file printout, file as an attachment or a spreadsheet. I mainly use the option of file printout because this allows me to drop in that document 
but also see what that document looks like and ink over it as well. So I'm gonna file print out. This is gonna open up the dialogue page. I'm just gonna to jump to the home section. And this is where you'd search for whatever document you're after. I'm gonna drop in my 2014 MacBook Air review and go insert. This is gonna take a couple of seconds to insert that Word document into the OneNote. You can see here that I can actually scroll through and look at the document here. If I double tap on the um, Word file at the top, this will take me straight to that document. I'm gonna X on that for now. So I can open this up if I wanted to edit the document where it actually lives, or if I wanted to just have a copy of it in OneNote, I simply have it here in front of me. The beauty of this is that I can then grab something with my Surface Pen, and then I can start annotating and marking up all over that document without affecting the real document. And then of course, I can take notes on the side. This is too long. Or I can say, what about B-roll? Anything like that, I can start doing more with this document, but not actually making changes to the real file. So I find this really easy because it starts putting the documents together in the single repository of OneNote. It allows me to extend what I'm doing with it by using inking tools and using the infinite canvas of OneNote next to it to add in extra notes and pictures and thoughts and feedback without actually making changes to the original document. And there you have it. Those are five of my top tips for being more productive with Microsoft OneNote. These are gonna work whether you have a PC or a Mac and hopefully help speed up your productivity. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you wanna supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.